Today is Saturday, October 1, 2016. This is a 11 year old male neutered Shih Tzu coming in with a complaint of skin disease one month after going to the groomer for shaving board. The owner discovered ring room light lesions on the body and they are quite big rings as you can see example here and uh, under ultraviolet light efflorescence and uh, under microscopic examination you can see the hyphae so these are likely to be dermatophytes or ringworm and uh, now my assistant will disc describe how to use the test which is called an in-tray in and rich dermatophyte medium to culture the ringworm and uh, she will continue now with the process of how to do it. Okay, stop. Okay, the, the instrument to use is the uh, sterile scissors and forceps. Okay. And how to collect the sample? I will use my four fingers and thumb. Clean ones. Clean. After cleaning, washing it. Okay. Okay, by pulling the hair. On the periphery of the ring, ring. two and centimeter. Then cut it using the scissors. Cut the lower end. Okay, about two centimeter. Okay, put okay. it down. Pull some more. We might need more. We might need some more. We might need some more just in case there. Different so different parts. No, I mean different red. parts of the ring. Yeah. Let's say another one. They're here, okay, there's another one. Two centimeter at least, okay. Near the edge of the ring, okay, and then she cuts away the top part. Top part is normally uninfected. Okay, so there are two samples from two different areas. Okay, now what she's gonna do next. Now I will You see the entry medium. I wish we had already written down the the name of the patient, the date. This is the date written? Okay. Okay now okay now now what should I do the next step? Open the lid. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. Open the lid. Remove the seal. Then put down the table to do. Put the Okay. So two samples. The so after cut really right mm, inoculate in three three to six pieces inoculate in inoculate that means push in this is called inoculate dip in uh, into the medium so that it can grow if you just put on the surface it's, it's not inoculation Okay, finish. Then what's the next step? Then you need to cover it up, seal it up again. Seal up again. Okay. Then uh, we will put into the dark place for one to fourteen days, and uh, every day the vet will check under the microscope for two things: change in color and the growth of white colonies. Now, if, if the color is, the medium is changed to red, then uh, the vet will check under a microscope for the different types of uh, dermatophytes, as you can see in this, in this uh, leaflet. So they, they did give you a guide on the dermatophyte ident identification. What's the first one? One, two, microsporium. The third one is microsporium. Fourth one, microsporium of different species. Fifth one is trichophyton. One, two, three, four. Four species. So there are different, uh, different uh, structure under the microscope. So you can identify them two to four days after inoculation and incubation in a dark place 
So she will put it in a dark place, probably in a drawer, dark place, at room temperature. At room temperature. No better put, put somewhere in the drawer so that we remember. Here. Then, uh, then uh, so the, the white colonies, now there will be white colonies. The white colonies are actually, according to the literature here, we read the results. So, basically, the mixed growth will consist of dermatophytes and serophytes, which is contaminants. And the serophytes are, serophytes are actually white in color. Or even uh, uh, yellow, black, or brown, or green. Now, positive results are, are between 1 to 14 days. Medium color changes the red at the location of the specimen. And the whitish colonies grow around it, yeah. Negative is no colony growth or color change 14 days after inoculation. So now we have to wait at least 14 days. And uh, of course, if the dog has been treated, boring room, there will be no, uh, no positive results. Okay, so you can bring the dog back already. This is the end of this uh, description of the use of in tray and rich dermatophyte medium for dermatophyte culture and uh, the main main uh, procedure for collection is actually here and if you can see it's given in detail how to do it how to do it we are just collecting hair samples but you can collect also nail scrapings and skin scrapings as well. So you can see from this side the introduction. Introduction transfers of the product, reagents, storage and the keynotes regarding specimen collection. You can see it's quite detailed. So we are just doing hair samples where you can do skin scrapings if there are no hairs and then the nails as well. So basically this is the overall description of how to how to culture dermatophytes in a case of suspected dermatophyte in infection in the dog or cat. Today is Saturday, October 1, 2, 0, 1, 6, Topayo Vex. In three, enriched dermatophyte medium for culture of ringworm.